G'day and welcome to Agri Updates Northwest. It's George from Gunnedah and today I'm at Baraba. We have the field day that's run by Heart Rural in conjunction with the Grassland Society of New South Wales, National Land Care Program, New South Wales DPI and Local Land Services. Andrew, who's the agronomist here, has been providing an update of the Tropical Pasture Benchmarking Project which has been running here for a couple of years. It's been quite a concerted effort to set up the demonstration and undertake the monitoring. The, um, we looked at uh, some of the gaps in our knowledge base around the production and management of tropical pastures. This was done in conjunction with staff from uh, DPI, so particularly Sean Murphy, Suzanne Boschma and Sarah Baker. So today a couple of landholders have come along and we've had a look at the results. Uh, this is the final uh, field day for this uh, benchmarking project at the moment. And uh, certainly uh, with some of the um, numbers that Andrew's been able to provide in terms of uh, pasture and, and dry matter production, um, it's certainly uh, proving to be um, some interesting results that we can um, extend out to landholders to uh, help them fill some of those knowledge gaps. And um, I mean, the big challenge is now to uh, to try and implement some of these management recommendations that have come from this to uh, the wider community and on, on farm. A couple of other things that I just wanted to um, note this week is that we're still looking for expressions of interest from landholders that may be interested in doing prograze. So we're keen to have a session or run a course um, in the southern part of the Liverpool Plains. So if you're around uh, Spring Ridge, Karuna, Karindai, Willow Tree. So we're keen to get uh, 12 to 15 people along to make it a really good course. So you can uh, check out our website or contact one of the staff at local land services offices if you're interested in registering for that course. We're looking to uh, try and commence that around May. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that we're seeking expressions of interest from uh, industry groups, land care groups for our national land care program funding. So the key outcomes from this are assisting groups, landholders to uh, adapt to climate variability and, uh, and market demands. So uh, if you're interested in um, applying for that funding, please contact myself at Local Land Services. It would involve events, getting in guest speakers, uh, workshops, putting together a strategic or, or a management plan, uh, farm surveys. So there's uh, a number of outputs that uh, we can consider as part of the project. So yeah, certainly the, the weather is uh, is changing, starting to cool down a bit. We're getting into uh, heading into autumn and uh, just a couple of other things to, to think of, particularly with your livestock, is just be, uh, be on top of any health uh, management. So it's important to be up to date with any livestock vaccinations. Um, stock will uh, decline a bit if they're unwell during the cooler weather. So uh, just be on top of your uh, your management with your livestock. So that's it for this week. So uh, look forward to seeing you in the paddock next week for Agri Updates.